in Proverbs 30, uh, verse 4, it says, Who has gone up to the heavens and come down? Who has gathered the wind in his feasts, uh, fists? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if you know it? To Jewish people, sadly, because of the interpretation of what you just mentioned, here it says, what is his name? It would be Yahweh. And the name of his son, they say Israel. Taking Exodus as an example, they say Israel. And obviously we can, according to the letter, say that. And we wouldn't be wrong, according to the letter. But according to the spirit, we know that it's talking about Mashiach. We know that it's talking about Yahushua. In <laughs> fact, um, I want to take this moment to show you something very amazing. I'm going to be sure about this, but it says, Me, Allah Shamaim, who ascended into the heavens. Me, Allah Shamaim. Then it says, uh, and descended. Then it says again, Me, Asaf. Ruach gathered the, the winds. So it has me here, a, another me there, another me there, and another me there. The word me in Hebrew means who? Who? Yahushua is the one who reveals the Father. That's why when Philip asked Mashiach, show us the Father. Mashiach said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. That's why Mashiach said, I am the only way to the Father. The only way to know Yahweh is through Mashiach, the me, the who. Mashiach came in the fourth millennium, for he came as the light of the world, who was made in the fourth day of creation. That's why the word me appears four times in this verse. Who, 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 who? Then it asks ma once there and another ma. I mean, that was not even a second. Yeah, one there and the other one here. So there's, there's one me here. That would be the first millennium, second millennium third millennium, fourth millennium, when the me revealed himself, when the who revealed himself to show us who is the father. After that, there will be two millenniums until the end for the second coming to happen. And that's why after those four me's, we had one ma and another one here. So we have six millenniums represented by four me's and two ma's. The word ma means what? What? So the first reveals who is the father. The last reveals what he said. <laughs> so that's why the first is wisdom. The last is understanding. First and last, me and ma, who and what? Four millenniums for the coming of the me, two millenniums for the coming of the ma. Ma has the numerical value of 40 plus five. Um, yeah, so 45, which is the numerical value of Adam. That's why the last is the son of Adam, the son of ma. But that wasn't it, when I, what I wanted to show you. I mean, and there are all the things that we find they're very, very interesting. But I want, what, what I want to show you is this right here. Look how it says, Ma Shemo, Ma Shemo, right? What is his name? That's what that means. What is his name? So let's go to the translator and let's write here, Ma Shemo. Mem Hey, that's what? Shem, that's name. And the vav of his, what is his name, right? So you can see there, what is his name, right? Now look at this. We have 40, according to the numerical values of the letters, 40 plus 5 plus 300 plus 40 plus 6. So 
385.91. Just did it in my head. Hopefully, uh, you understood what I just did, right? That would be the numerical value of the words Mashemo. What is his name? If we write the name of the Messiah, Yahushua, that's how they write it, of course, but you know, that's the name of the Messiah. Look how, if you write that, they already write Yahweh. But once you place the shin, they change it. <laughs> so Yahushua, this is 10, the youth. This is five. This is six. This is 300. This is 70. If you add up, add up each of the letters of Yahushua, you have 391, 391. Here we have 370, 380, plus 11, 391. So in the words, what is his name? We have his name. The numerical value of Mashemo is the same numerical value of Yahushua. So through the question, we receive the answer. And if you add, because after Mashemo, it says Umashemo, because he asked what is his name and the name of his son. If we add the Bab, that would take us to 97, which is the other numerical value of the name when the name appears with two vowels, which represents the second coming. That would be 297. So we find both numerical values in that verse. So the verse is actually revealing the name itself through the numerical value. So when Yahweh asks, what is his name? who has gone up to the heavens and come down. Mashiach himself said he is the only one. He said that Eliyahu didn't go to the heavens. He said that Hanok didn't go to the heavens. Even Moshe didn't go to the heavens. Mashiach himself said that no one has seen the face of Yahweh. So who did Moshe see? An angel. For Yahushua said, no one has gone up to the heavens. No one has seen the father. That was one of the reasons Pharisees hated him, because they were like, you are going against scriptures. Moshe spoke with him face to face. Hanok was taken to heaven. Yahushua was telling them he was not taken to the highest heaven. He was not taken to the father. They did not see the father, for the father cannot be seen, for he is Ruach. Only Mashiach can be seen, and that's why Mashiach told Philip, if you have seen me, you have seen the father. That is the closest thing you will get to seeing the almighty creator through his son. So who has gone up to the heavens and come down? That's the first who. Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Second who. Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who established all the ends of the earth? And look how it's the fourth talks about the ends of the earth as in the one who completed all creation. That is the who. In Hebrew, me, which represents Mashiach, Yahushua. And then what is his name? Numerical value 391. And what is his son's name? In this case, uh, because of the translation has son before name. So kind of switches, uh, the, well, switches the words. But if we, as we saw in the Hebrew, it said Umashemo, which has the numerical value of the other way of writing the name of messiah so there are two ways of writing the name of messiah according to scriptures with one vav and two vavs which represent first and second coming with one vav the numerical value is 391 with two vavs is 397 we see those two numerical values in what is his name and what is this, his son's name obviously we have here yahweh and here yahushua but the jewish people since they don't understand through the Ruach, this scripture, they only take it according to the letter. They take that part from Exodus and say, his son's name is Israel. Okay. But like I was saying, I just want to make that clear. When I was talking about nowhere in scripture, does it say that humans are children of Yahweh? Um, the example that 
Brother Omar gave was referring to Israel, which are his people, right? The true Israel are his people. But still, the fact that he called them singular firstborn is because his firstborn, Mashiach, would come from the seed of Yaakov through Yahudah. 